Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
funeral arrangements someday, or what cemetery do you think she'll be buried in, or what will cause his death? For everything there is a season. The scriptures say, and the season for asking about a person's death is usually not at his or her birth. One of our hymns asks a similarly unusual question about a child born in Bethlehem. What child is this? However, it is a fitting question because this child is born in a most unusual way. The mother is a virgin. His birth is announced by heavenly hosts praising God. So, what child is this? The wonderful answer is proclaimed by an angel. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. What child is this? This child is no less than the Lord himself, the Lord of heaven and earth, the Lord whose voice breaks the cedars, now cooes softly in his mother's arms, the same Lord who told the shepherd Moses not to come near because the Lord's presence was too holy, now invites shepherds to draw near to him as he lies in a manger, a helpless child. <coughs> Shepherd Moses hid his face from the Lord, but now shepherds behold the Lord's face in the face of a baby. The unapproachable one is now approachable. The intimidating one is now inviting. That certainly is good news, but what makes God's appearance in human flesh good news of great joy that came to redeem he? God himself came to redeem us. The Lord of creation became part of his creation in order to recreate what man had broken. The immortal one was born in a specific time and place to unite himself forever with his mortal creatures. What if the Lord had taken on flesh in order to confront mankind and demand payback? for the sins committed against him? What if he had appeared among us with a human face in order to scowl at us for our selfishness? Thanks be to God that his birth is instead good news of great joy for us, as the angel declared. The reason why it is good news of great joy is that at this child's birth, we do ask the normally unthinkable question, how will this child die? For this child was born to die. This was God's plan even before the child was born. This is what the heavenly angels are talking about when they say his birth will bring peace on earth. This child will die because of us. And he will die for us. We are told by the prophet Isaiah that unto us is born this child, the very child of God. Unto us, unto us sinners, this child is born. So we need to repent, we need to rejoice greatly for his birth, this holy night. But don't forget to rejoice also at his death. For already at his birth, his cross, his death, and burial are foreshadowed. What child is this? 
the one who had a Mary at his birth and multiple Marys at his death. What child is this? The one who had a righteous Joseph at his birth and a righteous Joseph, Joseph of Arimathea at his death. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people in this child. So let's do something that is normal at the birth of a child. Let's look closely at this son of Mary. The prophet Isaiah said all authority would be upon those little shoulders. This child used his authority to free you from hell and destruction. Look closely at this child. He has the royal head of the Prince of Peace, but his head was crowned with thorns in order to place on your heads a crown of glory. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people. Today that salvation is again extended to you as a gift from this child's altar. It's Christmas. And Jesus is giving you the best gift. Jesus gives his life for you. He gives you his body and his blood, a gift that forgives your sins, renews your zeal for good works, and, and gives you love, love for one another. What a wondrous gift of love this is. What child is this? This is the Lord who saved you. So, haste, haste to bring him law, hail, hail, the word made flesh, joy, joy, for Christ is born, the babe, the son of Mary, born for you. Merry Christmas. In the name of Jesus, amen. And the peace of God which passes all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through faith in Christ Jesus, our Lord.
In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to the city of Galilee in Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of David forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. the promised child, a baby boy for Mary Mild, the son will be a special king, so shout and let your praises ring.
God, who is this? The King of love, a gift of God from heaven above. His majesty came down to earth, a holy child of lowly birth. Now Jesus reigns above below, within our hearts wherever we go. All nations bow and come and adore our Savior, the Lord's friend. What child is this? He came in love. What name will bring us from above? 
What child is this? I'll go and tell. For Jesus is the main one.